Hey guys, welcome back. If you want a Steam Deck and want a cheap and effective mod, the transparent backplate from JSOX may be just for you. From the photographs on the website, it looks great, but is there any real function to this backplate? In today's video, we're gonna find out. Welcome to Team Bandori. Subscribe, I'm Jean Luc. So, this is what came. It's a backplate for the Steam Deck. They sent it to us in exchange for this video review. The box has six sides, some of which have writing on. On the back we can see it's a blue one. See the dot here? And let's open. Sesame. Medlock. Box-tastic. And this warning label is just strange. Please wear finger gloves before removing the housing. What? Finger gloves? <laughs> no. These words we may live to regret. There's two small manuals included. Here's the first. It's rather long. It's almost as long as my perfectly shaped dong. Meh. Here's a second. This seems more like a quick start guide. One side's in Chinese, and the other in English. Let's check the box. We get a bag of tools. And the extra buttons for the back. So over here we have the prying tool, small posi driver, the screws, and them gloves. Let's have a look at them. <laughs> what are these? Finger gloves indeed. Perfect for Wesley when he does the knuckle truffle shuffle. Yeah. Honestly, this looks great. The black square is in aluminium heating, and the translucent blue looks fantastic. The foot buttons on the back run flush very much like the original Steam Deck. But we'll test these first, then move on to the additional buttons later on in the video. Looking at the inside of the case now, there's tape that needs to be removed before installing the backplate. It's probably here to protect it from any impurities that may interfere with cooling, which could also be the case for them finger gloves. Oh, one more thing, it's quite light. To install the backplate, we'll first need to open up the Steam Deck. To do so, we'll first need to remove these eight screws, or we can use the screwdriver included. Once we're done, we'll need to get out our prying tool. Usually start near the shoulder buttons, and then slowly work my way around. Now that the backplate is off, we could apply some new thermal paste. If you want to see how we did that, please check our previous video. And today, we're just going to do a simple switcheroo. Just clicks back together. And that's it, pretty much. Put the screws back in and we're done. I can understand how some may be put off by not using the official backplate, but this aftermarket one looks incredible. You can see all the components inside, and the colours chosen all complement the Steam Deck very nicely. When in-game, we couldn't really distinguish any real differences between the stock backplate. It's certainly not a bad thing, considering the Steam Deck is one of the most comfortable handhelds going. But when it comes to these back buttons, I never used them even with the original backplate. Maybe just never needed them, or perhaps they were just awkward to get to. Either way, we have two sets of back buttons, and from the side we can see they're very different. To pop them in we need to take out some screws, and then simply replace. So the ones on the left are stock, and these ones on the right really stick out. Let's pop it back on the Steam Deck and give it a try. Much easier to get to now. With both alternative sets installed, we can see the difference. These on the left are easy to get to and click, whereas the ones on the right feel like you're holding two handles and the buttons become part of the grips. Both a vast improvement from stock. Do these buttons now have a use in game? Let's ask an old friend, Half-Life. And she said, yes. And does the heatsink actually do anything for our temperatures? Well, at stock we have around 85 degrees Celsius on the CPU, and the fan is running around 5700 RPM. And with the JSUX backplate, we have the CPU running at 82 degrees Celsius, and the fan sits at a lower 5500 RPMs. A cooler and quieter Steam Deck. But if you've been checking social media, there are some crazy people that add large heatsinks to this gorgeous backplate. We've got a set of four heatsinks from Amazon to check if there's an invalidity to their claims. 
This one's 40 by 40 by 11. And let's slap it on. And that looks actually surprisingly not bad. And at first glance, the temperatures are similar to before, but check the fan. 200 RPM lower, giving us a quieter steam deck. And once it's idle, those with the new backplate cool down much quicker. Do we recommend this new backplate? It's an easy yes. Affordable, looks great, and helps with the cooling. The only thing we'd like to have seen added is an included stand. As we finish off, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. These lovely people here continue to support our work whom we cannot thank enough. We make video reviews, tutorials, and fix cheap arcade boxes and the A-Family Mini. I have one of those Hollywood poker for the win. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you would like to see more, check these here. You could subscribe or subscribe and click my dong.